up it's your girl Simone Charisse and today in this video we are working with Julia hair so we have another U part wig this is the second one for the month you guys asked I am here delivering I am doing what you guys asked so I actually have fallen in love with these believe it or not now the last U part wig was more of a kinkier texture so we didn't really have to use heat on our hair this one is a little more sleeker so we will have to use heat sorry guys but in order to get the full look you kind of probably will need heat so I haven't dyed hair in a while because a lot of the times these companies some hairs just don't be dying okay and I don't got time for it last time was the last time I really dyed hair because I, I was just so frustrated with the whole process <laughs> so this time I'm bringing it back Back and I'm excited to be coloring I'm using 40 developer and quick blue powder to get the look make sure it's a nice creamy texture before you go forward a lot of people haven't been seeing my videos so to make sure you are seeing them just make sure you like this video so that it continues to flow in your queue and you are never behind <laughs> So here I am just putting the color at the tips of the hair. I didn't really have a specific idea of what I was doing. I just know I wanted color. Um, I didn't want the whole thing to be colored because obviously my real hair is jet black. And so I wanted only the ends. A really like nice ombre effect pretty much. You want to make sure you don't create any harsh lines. So really once you get to like the top part of where you're done putting the dye, brush it in a downward motion so that it's not just one straight harsh line across because girl it's gonna look so ghetto and that is not the purpose of <laughs> this look now this hair did not really take to the dye I was a little disappointed and I just refused to dye the hair again so after one hour I just decided to show you guys how it looks, give you guys a full little rundown, full little spin down, so you can see how it looks. And this is the lightest it got after an hour. And the color looks nice when it's wet, but I know when this dries, it's gonna be brassy as hell. So I ended up finding this box dye in my cabinet, and I was like, you know what, let's just try to put it on there to, I don't know, create some kind of look. <laughs> At this point, I'm just experimenting because I, I wasn't expecting that color. I was kind of expecting it to be more blonde, but it's cool. It's cool. So I'm mixing the colors to get. I mix everything together, and then I'm just going to put it on the hair. I left this on the hair for about an hour. And make guys, make sure that you're washing and you shampoo the hair before you put this box dye on because the powder, um, the first mixture we did with the powder, it can leave a nasty residue kind of feeling. But I wanted to show you guys my braiding pattern because for you part wig, either you could put it in a ponytail or you could just do a nice neat pattern. And for me, I am wearing full lace wig, so it's important that I have a style that is kind of versatile. So the parts that I left out, I did end up bringing that on later on when I put on my full lace wigs. But right now, this is how we're going to braid it for the U-part wig. So I'm showing you what I did so far on the left side. When I get to the right, I'm going to flat twist my leave out as I did on the other side.
and then i just decided to crimp the hair i was gonna curl it but then i was like you know what let's just do something different this time so i did go ahead and crimp it i'll leave the link to the crimper down below for you guys in case you guys are interested in it i love it it's my favorite it does the job it is perfect okay <laughs> So here we have me <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and just untwist the leave out unbraid the leave out and so forth and then i flat ironed it because <laughs> it was a little crunchy so i flat ironed it so that it's nice and straight and then we have the u part here u part wig here cut the little stretchy parts at the top of the wig cap and then you're gonna go ahead and insert all the combs and honestly i used to have u-part wigs back in the day like the ones that i would make and they actually really did used to hurt like those combs hurt so bad but this one the way they made it was really flat so there wasn't any pain or it didn't feel like it was hanging off my braids or it wasn't heavy it actually was pretty comfortable so um i would love to probably color this hair back jet black <laughs> and use it as um a u-part wig because i actually liked the way how it was just so light so I decided to straighten my leave out because I was like, you know what, you know, it might blend better. But then I realized that I crimped the roots of the of the wigs. And then I was like, oh, my God, this is just not blending. This is looking crazy. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out what to do with the hair and the straight and the crimps were just not working. So I am, you know, frying my hair a little bit more by crimping it. But I had to get an end result, okay? And I couldn't just leave it with those straight ends. So here I am just crimping it and it did blend better. Make sure you do your edges. Make sure you sleek and slick it up. I have a lot of things going on in this video. So I'm about to show you guys how I do my makeup. It's a really simple makeup tutorial, but I like to do a mask sometimes before I do my makeup because my skin needs to be rejuvenated sometimes and washing your face sometimes it just does not do the job for me but i do find that when i do a mask sometimes before i do my you know foundation or any concealer it just makes my face look so much more alive and and just brighter so that's what i'm doing now i got this from probably tj maxx i don't even remember i just be buying a bunch of stuff and Whenever I want to do the skincare videos, I just dig into that skincare stash. So here I am using this Tiger one. Keep it on for about 15 minutes. Massage it into your skin. And then I'm going to be using the Fenty toner. Love, 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 love this thing. I'm putting this on first before I go ahead and moisturize my face. And then I have this H2O Skin Tint Foundation from Pixie. Love, 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 love it. Found it from Target. Now, at first, when I put it on, it looks super dark. But because it's water-based, it's super thin and light. So I love it. It reminds me of a BB cream. And it blends perfect with my skin, honestly. Like, even in the daytime, it blends perfect. It gives me a little tanned look, but it blends perfect. So I love it. I've been using it for a while and it doesn't feel like i have foundation on now i'm putting on concealer now you guys know when i put on concealer that usually means a lot because girl my makeup routine is so freaking basic these days like you're lucky if i put on eyebrows so <laughs> i'm just over here being extra and then i decided to put on two concealers because i was like crap you can't see the other one so this whole day was a mess for me but i made it work and that's all that matters then this Laura Mercier powder 
um this one is a darker color so i was super excited to try it because like you guys know how laura mercier had like that that super white powder and it's like girl there's no way that's gonna blend in with my skin well they have a darker color and it actually looks pretty good on light skin tones i don't know if, they do have a darker color for dark skin tones that's why i'm differentiating and saying that but they have one for dark skin tones and sometimes it's too like uh red for me this one is actually really perfect and i think i might have a new favorite and then everything else you guys see you guys always see me use i love me some bronzer it just gives you that nice sun-kissed look it's simple it's easy and you don't gotta do much now blush though blush i don't be wearing but here i am wearing blush in this video i just wanted like a really sweet look <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense, but I wanted like a girly look, okay? Because you know it's bad when I sit here and I put on lipstick. You know, you guys know I don't wear lipstick, but I just wanted something different. So here I am just applying it. This one, I believe, is from CVS. I'm not sure of the brand. And that was all, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, let me know what you guys think about the hair down below, and I'll see you guys in my next one.